In May 1915, during the fierce fighting of World War I, Italy saw the situation was not favorable and switched sides to join the Allied powers, fighting alongside the British and French armies. Due to Italy's position on the battlefield, the Austro-Hungarian Empire became its main opponent, and the Austro-Hungarian navy in the Adriatic Sea became the main target for blockade. Eliminating the maritime threat completely was not easy. Under the threat of the Italian navy, the Austro-Hungarian navy retreated to the harbor, protected by coastal defense artillery. A direct assault was obviously unwise. The Italians came up with the idea of using torpedoes for special operations. However, even if the torpedo boats operated secretly at night to avoid the coastal defense artillery, they could not bypass the naval barriers set by the Austro-Hungarians and enter effective firing range. This situation changed in 1917 when the designer Attilio Bizio proposed a special type of torpedo boat. This boat had a flat bottom, very shallow draft, and tracks similar to those of a tank, allowing it to navigate at sea like a conventional ship and overcome obstacles with its tracks. This torpedo boat was called Grillo Cricket, also known as the Sea Tank. The Grillo torpedo boat had a structure similar to the landing craft of World War II. It was a wooden, flat-bottomed boat, 16 meters long, 3.1 meters wide, with a draft of only 0.7 meters, a displacement of 8 tons, and a crew of 4. The boat was equipped with two small horsepower engines, one driving a propeller to achieve a speed of 4 knots, and the other driving the track structure. The Grillo torpedo boat was equipped with narrow tracks on both sides, similar in design to the overhead tracks used by tanks at the time. The drive wheel was at the rear, with curved claws mounted at intervals on the track plates, allowing the tracks to grip objects to assist in forward movement. With this equipment, the boat could overcome the naval barriers set by the Austro-Hungarian Navy. The operational weapons of the torpedo boat were two 450mm torpedoes, each lashed to the side of the hull. Due to the boat's short range and poor seaworthiness, it needed to be towed by another ship to a predetermined area before being deployed independently. After overcoming barriers, it would release the torpedoes in a suitable position to launch an attack, and then immediately return to the towing ship to withdraw. Of course, this process generally needed to be carried out secretly at night, as being discovered by coastal defense artillery would result in the boat being blown to pieces in a matter of minutes. A total of four of these special torpedo boats were built by Italy. Because their action of overcoming obstacles was compared to the jumping of insects, all four boats were given insect names, the first was the cricket, followed by the grasshopper, locust, and flea. In the later stages of World War I, the Italian Navy attempted to use these torpedo boats for, some action, organizing multiple attacks. However, none of these actions were successful, either being discovered by the defending forces and forced to retreat, or getting lost. The Austro-Hungarian Navy, through repeated engagements, also took notice of this new equipment in the Italian Navy, but due to a lack of accurate information, they were unable to determine its exact capabilities. Nevertheless, they reacted by raising the height of the anti-torpedo netting and even attempted to replicate the torpedo boat. At least during World War I, the Grillo torpedo boat was a failure in military operations, and after the war, people quickly abandoned this design and turned their attention to conventional torpedo boats. By the time of World War II, the United States designed an amphibious landing vehicle with a similar structure. Although the functions of the two were completely different, it is surprising that they shared a highly similar basic structure, representing a form of technological continuity.